Hi everybody, Claire here from Rainbow Acrylics. I have just finished this painting. Um, it's a straight pour um, made up of magenta, two shades of blue, white and gold, and I absolutely love it. I'm gonna do another one. The only change I'm gonna make, I'm gonna take out the gold, which you can see has had quite an orangey effect, and I'm gonna add in silver instead. So really the same colors, but swapping the gold for the silver. So let me show you um, what I've got. Um, I have used um, two um, Essentials Royal and Langnickel colours, Theocyanine Blue, um, and this one is Cerulean Blue. Um, the white, this time I'm using Pearl White instead of um, the slightly goldy white, which I used for the other. Um, Montmartre Magenta and Pebio Studio Acrylics um, uh, Silver. So I've mixed everything with my um, homemade pouring medium, which is two parts PVA glue and one part water. Um, and then I've mixed them 50-50, paint and pouring medium. So you can see it leaves a little trace, but it only lasts for about a second or so. So the last painting, the painting I've just done, um, I think it worked well because these paints like this are slightly thinner than um, I've done for previous straight pours. And I think that's worked really well. Um, so I'm going to start layering up my cup. So I'm going to layer these paints in exactly the same order as the previous pour. Um, so the white, the blues are either side of the white, um, the pink and the blue next to each other. So they'll make purple if they mix. Um, as I did with the previous one, I'm just going to put a little splash of white right in the center. And then I'm going to start with the colours. I'm not going to go with silver as I went with gold last time. I'm going to now go with the pink and start this as, as my order. I'm going to run the paint down the side of the cup. Right, before I start, let me just show you this amazing cup. It is just gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. Um, right, I've just found some old paint um, left over from a previous pour. I keep all my leftovers. I've added some water, so um, it's now nice a nice, quite runny consistency. Colour is totally irrelevant. I'm just going to put this down um, just to help um, my colours flow. So I'm going to put a nice big puddle down in the centre and then I'm going to pour onto that. So the idea is that the pour, paint that I pour on will push that out um, to the edges. So it will be this purpley paint that will come in contact with, this, with the canvas and not my cup of paint. Right, wish me luck. <laughs> Here goes. So I'm going to keep my hand really steady because it's going to be a straight pour, but I'm going to go up and down. And then I'm going to twist my hand round as well. Just to give some different patterns, some different effects, some just, just a few different designs within the pour. to do this last bit really slowly to make it really neat because obviously this is going to be the centre of the painting 
and what's, once the painting is stretched out, you're going to see it. So if it drips or it spills, it ruins the centre. And I want to just catch it as soon as that as it as the paint breaks contact. I need to catch it. Right, interesting. It's looking quite dark. So I want to put some more paint around here because I don't want the paint to flow over itself. I want it to push against this paint instead. Right, really happy with these colours. They're looking really nice. Right, I'm going to give it a good torch. It's quite interesting, you see around the edge, the colours are just totally separate, but then in the middle, they really do start blending and merging together. I guess the risk of making them too runny is that they will um, make mud, they'll bl uh, sort of merge together too much. So I'm really hoping I haven't done that, made them too runny. So I'm just going to stretch it a bit to start with. So I'm just going to go round in a circle just to try and stretch the design out as much as I can. I'm going to mix up a little bit more paint because I just want a bit more around the edges here because I don't, I don't want it to fold over itself particularly. Um, actually, no, what I can do is there's always a little bit of paint left over in the cups. So I'm just going to give that a bit of a mix with a bit more water, thin it down slightly, and then that uses that paint up. Right, that's the whole canvas covered in paint. So let's go down to this bottom corner. And then I'm just gonna bring the weight of the paint back to the center. And this is when here, the, the lines will really start opening up. So I'm gonna to go to this other corner. Nearest me. We're playing doctors because all of two babies are sick, so we're playing doctors. Okay, that's exciting. Two babies sick. <laughs> that was Evie, my youngest. <laughs> and then just go to the other corner. Wow, 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 
This is looking amazing. Again, I've got such interesting interactions with the paint. Different cells, different patterns. Wow, so happy. Right, let me get you in for a close up. So after I just turned the camera off, I did a tiny bit more tilting. You might notice that this area looks slightly different. So in this bottom corner, the paints had muddied slightly and there was a lot of this kind of just plain section. Um, and I just felt, oh, sorry, I'm just trying to focus better. Um, I just felt it wasn't really adding anything to the, the design. So what I did was just tilted um, back over this corner to get rid of it. Um, and much much happier with it um so what you'll find now is that the center is now no longer in the center which is absolutely fine um it's now down further in the in this corner um but i just feel that 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 bit there added nothing so i got rid of it um look at it i'm so happy the colors are gorgeous the colors really don't show up very well on the phone um but they are gorgeous so we've got a lot of purple around here um quite subtle but really beautiful my favorite bit is this blue line how on earth have i achieved that i have no idea it's just bubbly and beautiful the bright pink next to that deep blue it's gorgeous um, and actually the same with this slightly more subtle blue line so so pretty and so sweet um oh i'm just loving it the colors are gorgeous um, again there the blue it just looks gorgeous how it's come through um i definitely have learned a lot for today from these straight pores um, and i definitely have learned that i think slightly thinner paints are better if you want all these amazing crazy designs within your painting if you want just lots of lines lots of concentric lines keep them nice and thick but I think if you want all of this amazing oh what's happening to the light these amazing um interesting cells and effects um and lacing look at that that lacing there then I for me I think slightly thinner paint seems to work better um and then you get the um these this much more interesting looking painting um right I'll be back when it's dry and here it is dry. Um, I'm so happy with it. It's dried really, really well. Um, the first thing I noticed when I looked at it dry um, was that this massive band here of pink has gone a lot darker. Um, and I think that is just perfect. And here, um, when it was wet, um, this, red, this pink band seemed to really, really dominate um, and sort of spoil the composition a little bit. But because it's darkened down, I think it actually blends in really well. Um, you've still got plenty of the lighter pink the lighter magenta um here um and then if you go up into this top right hand corner again lots of lots of uh, the magenta there um and the same in the center and up in the top left hand corner so where it's darkened i just think it's added more to it um throughout the whole of the painting you've got these beautiful beautiful um shimmery silver lines throughout all of this here you can't really see from this video but everywhere there's this there's this silver it's actually really shimmery so when this is um varnished it's going to look gorgeous maybe you can see a bit of it there um there's some really interesting effects, some really interesting cells. My favourite section has to be over here. Um, this amazing band of cells here with this just silver lacing. And look, look at this, these cells. Um, just gorgeous. I love the pink and the blue and the silver surrounding those cells. Um, then if I just show you the centre the center of the cup as it as it poured out um you've just got some absolutely gorgeous gorgeous lines um yeah just so pleased with it and look there some little cells and actually look at these cells really close up they're just gorgeous yeah so at the moment it looks reasonably dark as a painting but i think once it's varnished it will lighten up because it will bring out the more of the the shimmer and the sparkle but yeah just so pleased with it great thank you so much for watching my video please subscribe to my channel please give me a big thumbs up um on the um youtube channel um and leave me any questions any comments anything you want to me to explain um yeah please just ask i'd love to hear from you Great. I hope everyone's okay. 
Um, take care. See you soon. Bye.